crossing, water, electricity and civilian infrastructure. For the past 96 days, Israel has subjected Gaza to what has been described as one of the heaviest conventional bombing campaigns in the history of modern warfare. Palestinians in Gaza are being killed by Israeli weaponry and bombs from air, land and sea. They are also at immediate risk of death by starvation, dehydration and disease as a result of the ongoing siege by Israel, the destruction of Palestinian towns, the insufficient aid being allowed through to the Palestinian population, and the impossibility of distributing this limited aid while bombs fall. This conduct renders essentials to life unobtainable. Okay, let's get some analysis now from Jordi Palau. He joins me from Barcelona. He's an accredited lawyer with the International Criminal Court. Jordi, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Just uh, give us your thoughts on what we've heard so far from South Africa's lawyers at the ICJ. Uh, for the moment, we have uh, heard uh, the statements of uh, legal analysis of uh, genocide and the competence of, of the court from the South African representatives is saying very clearly and uh, showing uh, some evidences of the intent of uh, provoke uh, genocide and the acts of genocide that uh, allegedly uh, the high-ranking officials of South, South Africa are executing in Gaza from uh, uh, last year. And we've seen also uh, hearings about the competence of the court uh, being considered that uh, uh, both Israel and uh, South Africa as, as state parties of the Geneva, uh, of, of the uh, Genocide Convention, uh, this court should uh, uh, decide whether there is a consideration of, a legal consideration of genocide as a whole as a part of uh, state activity of Israel in Gaza. We still have to hear from two or three more of, of the lawyers, but from what you've heard so far, what do you expect to happen in terms of, a verdict is obviously quite a, a long way away, but in terms of short-term action to help people in Gaza, what do you think the court will rule? Uh, we can see here uh, the precedent of what happened in the uh, Ukraine uh, versus Russia uh, case before the International Court of Justice. Uh, we, we can uh, consider here that this will be crucial in this case uh, of South Africa against Israel. The mm, provisional measures uh, that can be considered by, by the court. We have to uh, remember that in the Russia case, there was no more than a month after the lawsuit was uh, presented that uh, the provisional measures were decided by the court. So we can expect that at the end of uh, this month, maximum, uh, a possible decision by the International uh, Court of Justice of uh, or around the provisional measures that uh, could be uh, taken in these uh, cases, and particularly uh, to stop the acts of uh, alleged uh, genocide against the Gazan uh, population uh, mm -hmm. in the Gaza. Jordi Palau, thank you so much for your analysis. Really appreciate it.